What's going on today, everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot, guys. Welcome to my channel. I am preparing the Starman Tarot Card deck and myself to do your daily tarot card reading for Tuesday, May 25th. And the deck I use for Tuesdays is the Starman Tarot Card deck. All right, so I hope you're all doing fantastic. I appreciate your time here, um, stopping by to watch and to leave me a comment or a heart or something like that, you know. You guys are basically, you make up so much of my life and like I pour so much energy into you. Um, and it's because I want to, it's not an obligation. Anyway, I feel like I'm really just sliding off my intro. So let's just focus on this daily tarot card reading based on the collective energy available at the time I do the reading. And this is gonna be for all zodiac signs. So with love and light and many blessings, you guys. Um, so we have the six of wands here. So there could be some sort of a surprise victory for you. Uh, this is a very compelling card of sort of walking through it and winning. So there is something that you might feel like you're losing your grip on, that you might be losing some sort of a battle. Um, <clears throat> but things could really turn around for you today. You could get some sort of indication that you will win this. You know, you are stronger than you know. You are supported by Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I got the word demons, okay? So let's not freak out about that word too much because when I see that, I really feel like it's your shadow self. So I wanna clarify that card out. Um, hmm, you could also conquer a demon today. You know, something that has plagued you, an illness or... Uh, a repetitive negative thought like this is you're really going to win out but it's actually going to be with the help of sort of a negative influence fascinating so let's pull that over here and we've got the chariot card so it's like that negative energy is actually going to fuel your fire to move through and the six of wands here is showing quite a blazing fire it's like you might want to do something in spite of somebody or to show somebody what you're really made out of so very um and again this is this is like a really demonic imagery with the chariot card so it's nothing to be afraid of you guys are light so there's going to be dark so you can use that energy to fuel you forward. And a card fell out while I was doing that. And this is really interesting too. I pulled the seven of wands. So if there is something that is plaguing you, that you feel like you can't beat it, that you feel like you cannot overcome, the seven of wands is giving you the courage and the energy to use all of that to amp you up like if somebody's coming in and saying something mean or whatever it is you can say thank you very much I'm gonna take all of that and fuel my own fire towards the victory that I have planned for myself so I find this all very very interesting um, the seven of wands really wants you to take a stand for yourself and know that you can do this no matter what anybody else has to say and for some of you, it could be what you say about yourself, which is like the biggest thing to overcome of all, you know. So let's pull another card here. So you're being asked to look at things a different way. I pulled the hanged man here. This is shifting your perspective. There is something to be learned and understood and listened to from negative energy, negative vibrations, negative feedback and comments, even if it is ill-intentioned. Um, there's probably a grain of truth into what is being said to you. And it's so that you can look at something in a different way, you know? I'm really seeing like somebody coming in with an accusation or saying, you know, your plan sucks. Instead of getting defensive, this is where you need to pick that up and say, well, there might be some truth to that. How can I stand back and look at that? Maybe leave emotion out of it and just absolutely think, okay? Um, you don't have to take anybody's negative feedback or criticism 
in an emotional way you can just say okay well maybe that does make sense a little bit maybe i did make a mistake maybe there's a hole in my plan and go back and lacy's just sitting here staring at me <laughs> hi sweetie so it's being brought to your attention so that you can give it attention you know what i mean um Maybe there is something that you could do a little bit better and you don't have to give anybody else credit for doing this. You don't have to go back and tell this, this person. And I got the, actually, I got the word this ignorant person because they're doing it in a mean way. But again, it could give you that pause and go, oh, okay, well, maybe they were right. You don't have to go back and tell them, oh, hey, you were right. And so that they can gloat and hold it over top of you. It's just something like a warning, you know, that the universe is delivering to you through somebody that probably doesn't have the best intentions for you. But the intention is from the universe for you to take a break and have a look at what you can do a little bit better. Okay, so I want to clarify out this hanged man because it's a very awkward energy. Okay. This is interesting that I pulled the prince of Prince of Pentacles, because it is probably time for you to do something in a new way, instead of just trying to do things the same old way and looking back at an old pattern. Well, I'm used to doing it this way. This is the way that I was told it was going to work. Actually, this um, antagonist is going to do you a huge favor because they're going to be able to pivot you around so you can look forward. You know, things that worked for you 10 years ago probably are not going to work for you today, um, especially if you're trying to succeed at business or succeed at, at a love life. You know, if you experienced any type of failure in what you're pursuing now, this is your opportunity to fix it. Fix your coordinates is the, the message that I'm getting, which I find a little bit bizarre. Um... But there's a trajectory that you're on that isn't the right one. It's not going to bring you any more success than it did for you in the past. And you're spending too much time looking at it, going like, where did I go wrong? You know, somebody is going to tell you where you're going wrong. And they're probably going to do it in a menacing way or an unflattering way or sarcastic. So ignore all of that. Ignore all of that. Um I'm going to give you an example. My youngest son, he he played football and and rugby and he had the same coach for both teams and his coach would just come up and basically stand nose to nose with the team members and he would do that to my son too and just like flip out on him and you could see he was freaking out and like he didn't look very nice at all and I said to my son like how can you handle that? He goes, "I just look at the information." I just look at the instruction. I don't pay attention to his emotion or if he's spitting on my face. I'm listening to what he's saying so I can go back on the field and correct it. Okay, so you need to ignore all of that coming at you. And I'm sorry about that analogy, but you have to ignore who's spitting in, the, in your face. Just pay attention to the information and assimilate that because it's going to put you on a new track. Let's pull one more card here for you guys. Yikes. Okay, so this person is going to get you out of your own head. And you could end up feeling a certain amount of gratitude for them. Again, it's up to you if you want to go back and say thank you. Um, people that have sort of a mean spirit, they tend to gloat, like I said before. So this is you guys right now, Eight of Swords. I'm trapped, okay? I'm trapped. Where do I go? And somebody, and they might have a little bit more experience than you, is going to show you the way. So ignore the weather. Ignore the weather that they bring. Just pay attention to, why am I getting that word? How they water your crops. What? So anyway, let's have one more card here. So I pulled the moon card. So you might have a intuitive flash that this person... They're really trying to help you, but you don't care for them at all. So you're going to have to be very watchful and listen to your intuition. 
because you might be guided at first to disregard them because of the way you feel about them. Use your intuition and pick up on what is really true about what they're saying, even though it could be very painful. The more you dislike somebody, the more painful their feedback can be. So you are being challenged to look at what instruction you can pick up for yourself, not anybody else. You've got the moon card. This is using everything in you to look at things a, a little bit differently so that you can change your future. Don't worry about what happened in the past. And I cannot stress this enough. You don't have to go back and tell somebody that you don't like that they were right. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Take care. Bye.